Okay guys, I thought that I would give you a quick journal flip before I got on with my day. This journal is basically finished, I just need to tidy up the cover and also sort out the back addition that I'm that Christy gave me an idea for. So I just need to sort out that. But basically this baby is done and dusted. So a lot of people have asked me what kind of journal do you use. This is an old Singer sewing book, as you can see. So it is an altered craft book. So I'm only going to flick through really quickly and give a general overview of what each page is. If something catches your eye that you would like me to cover in an Art Geek video, please leave a comment below because I love to know what sort of things you're interested in. Uh, some of this stuff is classwork from a class I took with Jane Davenport, so obviously I cannot teach any of that. So. We've got some of my Copic marker work when we started the fashion, a fashion drawing class with Jane in I Heart Drawing. And we had to do a, a mood board basically using our drawings and things that inspired us. So I put a girl in here and I put a girl down the side. So just working on the fashion course with Jane. So here's some of my normal work, lots of bright colours, a uh, gessoed background, um, some photography, basically a nice, um, what I basically call my journaling is where art and life collide. So I like to put my life into my, into my art journals. Mm, some of my girls as my style started coming out notes and things, photographs, a lot of watercolours for my backgrounds, a lot of washes, um, washi tape to buggery. Photographs with acrylic ink and some white paint. Um, I also have images in here that uh, inspire me, so some of the images that you might see are not mine, they've just been printed out because they've inspired me in some way. Altering photographs with rub on, cinema tickets, um, lots of watercolour. This was all done with acrylic paint and pencils. Working on my, my uh, stuff with Jane, photographs, acrylic paint backgrounds, washi tape. Basically, if it's bright and colourful, it'll end up in my journal. I'll quickly flip past that because that's classwork from Jane. Um, sitting at a bus stop, basically, and I started drawing the lamppost and stuff. Photograph from a day that we took in Brisbane. All that sort of stuff ends up in my journal. So, lots of bright colours. I think I used a pit pen here. Um, this is paint and gesso. Some stencil work in the background. <clears throat> Still working on my fashion figures. I have I had a lot of I had a hard time making my fashion figures because I wanted to make them into footballers because my shoulders need work. They still need work, but it's okay. So taking some of my photographs from my day, there's a picture from my desk. There's we went to a really beautiful Italian bakery. John and I and the kids and some stuff from that, some magazine cutouts. This is actually a printout of one of my old journal pages that I really enjoyed. So I scanned it and printed it and then reworked the flowers to make them really bright. Um, this background here is just a mixture of two acrylic inks. And basically smearing them around on, a, uh, I think the page, yep, the page has been gessoed here and a uh, little Prismacolor drawing uh, cut out from a magazine that I enjoyed, some um, Seven Gypsies material tape I think that I kind of ninja'd from my mom. Um, Polaroids from my Instax camera of John and I on one of our road trips. Um, a, a picture of an old journal page that I quite liked and taped in with some paper and just basically ink drawings. It's really simple. I don't do anything really crazy. Um, in here there's some um, fabric on the side of the page here from a quilt I worked on. Uh, Self-portraits. Um, this is a, These are acrylic ink, flowers, uh, watercolour background, lots of washi tape. And here are some 
It's like a little, you know, those uh, trading card protectors. So I have a whole heap of those. So I print out some photos and, and tip them in. So these are from Lily's birthday party down here. And uh, this is a train ticket for somewhere that we went with John, I think. Flowers, washi tape, faces. Uh, on this one, there's a lot of uh, magazine cutouts, uh, the plates and the and the camera and the teacups. Um, here is a beautiful uh, artwork from an artist in Frankie magazine. Basically, I photographed my lunch and all that sort of random stuff. It's another self-portrait, some stencil work here. Um, the background is done with watercolors, and then here I've used the. Uh, Stabilo pens, I think they are. So like uh, these pens, basically to colour in all this stuff down here, just doodling and stuff like that. Uh, some paint marker around the border, um, and one of those clicky sticker makers, label makers. Uh, this one was done in Copic. All the background was done in Copic marker, and those pens again. Um, it was a Prismacolor face, a lot of colour and doodling and all that sort of stuff. Um, acrylic paint background on this one. There's some random doodles in the background, you just can't see them. Um, painted flowers. A little photograph down here of an old travel journal of mine. Uh, washi tape. I do a lot of the same stuff, just in different, different ways. Working on my figures with Jane on a gesso background. This is Copic marker, basically. Um, she she's all done with Copics and Prismacolor pencils and a black multiliner. Um, some old letters from friends of mine. That's how I instead of keeping them in their envelopes and stuff like that because we write so many letters to each other. I have started turning some of her older older letters into backgrounds for my work. Um, a little washi tape in the spine. Um, I did that a lot throughout my book for some reason. Um, some beautiful photographs that were taken by one of my best friends, um, Bruce Loves Susie. And she will be doing all my wedding photography. So I printed out some of her photos that she took of me. She's the only person I let take photos of me. And some pictures that she took of me and John while we were up seeing her last. A couple of Polaroids, some washi tape, some... Um, I think splash down paint in the background um, acrylic ink here to make the flower some uh, red and white paint some scrapbook papers down there uh, watercolor background photographs of my kids and a shot that I took of the couch a little Bambi sticker because my pet name from John is Bambi uh, just a basic girl with a quirky elongated neck. All in the background of her is um, pit pen doodling. Some acrylic paint in the background and some really dodgy stenciling that you probably can't even see. I'm a really bad stenciler. It's just terrible. Um, painted faces. Uh, Christy gave all the templates for the faces and I was just playing around with paint and Seeing what I could do, I did spaz up her eyes accidentally, so she looks a bit, a bit, a bit special. But it was just testing if I could how the paper would hold up. And as you can, see, I don't know if you guys can see, but the paper started pulling away here, so I gave up on that one. Um, some self portraits, some washi tape, um, using some of the designs in the actual original page and coloring them in. Um, some more pictures from Bruce Love Susie that. Uh, Mandy did for me. Um, this was another one of Christie's painter faces uh, templates, and I used. I wanted to see if I could do it with Copic marker, so I was seeing if I could achieve the same sort of results as Christie was doing with her paints, but in Copics. So this is one of my favorite shading shadings of the face. Besides this one in my uh, moleskin, which was my very first attempt at Copic Marker. So this is one of my favorites. So this one and this one are two of my very, very favorites in my face experiences. 
Uh, this is just a basic face shaded in um, Prisma Color uh, Erase pencils by Prisma. And I didn't want to wreck her with color just in case I did screw it up because that's always bound to happen. So I actually scanned her and I think she's down further in color. Uh, this is on cam canvas paper, so I wanted to um, try try my hand at shading with paints and stuff. I've, uh, lately I have been doing so many creatures that I haven't done much face work, so you guys don't get to see much face work from me. Not that I'm any expert, but I'm probably a lot out of practice right now. So I've just like washi taped that into the page and uh, folded it into the seam. Uh, this is basically a, a, an odd page. There's some le a scanned piece of an old letter from a friend and some ephemera she sent me which is from I think the wishing chair I'm pretty sure and this is just a print from uh, the black apple. Uh, here's the, the girl that I was speaking about before so this is her in color erase pencil and this is basically what I ended up doing to her uh, with the colored pencil. I think that yep, this is all done in colored pencil with a little bit of acrylic paint Some more of Christie's templates just playing with paint and her shading technique Not that I'd ever master it at all. So I'm a, I thought I had more fun with the Copics. I'm pretty bad with paint um, um, Scan from one of my journal pages in this the little moleskin So this is working on my uh, figures with Jane um, you guys haven't really seen this journal working with uh, this is where I was learning Copic markers and uh, working through some of my supplies me homework um, so this is probably one of my favorite little journals and my favorite body of work and stuff like that working with paints and watercolors this is one of my favorite turned faces I have so much trouble Working on bodies, all that sort of stuff. I had a blast in Jane's classes, absolute blast. And I learnt so much. And I think this is where my crazy bright coloured style started coming out and my quirky put togethers of how pages work. I think that's where it started, started happening. Yeah. So this one is nowhere near finished, so it's got a long way to go. Um, this is just a scanned picture of that move board at the front. I just stuck it in there. It's probably an unfinished page and I left it like that. Uh, more of my work with photographs. Um, basically taping, I taped the border in little, little strips to give it a jagged edge. Uh, little flowers, some um, pencils, some stenciling in the background. Nothing unusual, just playing around. Um, this was a page from one of the books that I pulled apart to make into a journal. And I really liked some of the pictures that were in this little garden book. So I've kept all the pictures to put into some of my artwork. Some a whitewash and some watercolour. Um, um, a background I was working on making a whole set of digital backgrounds to sell so I was just playing around with that uh, tape in the spine as usual uh, some odd random rub-ons that I had lying around so I just whacked them into the journal uh, this is like a glimmer spray I think it's got a shimmer to it more pictures from Bruce Love Susie some washi tape uh, this one is, is a lot of people's favorites because of the colors and the brightness and I will agree she is she is lovely and I'm, and I'm very glad that I, I pushed my mom always says where's her hair I'm like I don't want to give her hair she's got fancy flowers in her eyelashes that's good enough so this was all done with Prismacolor pencils and a little bit of acrylic paint and some paint pen everything it's all hand done it's all hand colored um, this is a Flora Bowley print, I think that the colors in that inspire is what inspired this image. As you can see, the colors are very um, representative of that image. Uh, some journaling, some taped picture of an old journal page. 
this is a index card that I was playing with and spilt ink all over and then I just turned it into a set of eyes um, really really simple it was a happy accident basically a lot of my stuff is happy accidents some washi tape quirky little girl and some flowers um, some abstract painting with bright colors and, and sectioning things off I saw a whole heap of people doing it and I went oh well why don't I have a play see what it looks like um, just a uh, black and white picture of John when we were waiting for breakfast somewhere and I've done some acrylic ink and some stenciling and this is using Sumi ink just basic uh, acrylic background with some simple pictures from my um, trip away with John and him making food for my birthday I thought I'd catch that moment uh, some scrapbook paper with a with a uh, bright yellow um, inky wash uh, black and white photo of John that I kept him um, black and white basically and altered the rest of the photo some paint pen on there a postcard that I got from a girlfriend that I tip in I tip in a lot of my um, postcards and odd bits and pieces that come in the mail uh, that's some fabric tape down there, photographs, little, jour little uh, journal girl using the uh, Stabilo pens and some Copics. Oh, this page got wrecked by water, so. Um, another face, like I said, you guys know, don't see faces much from me anymore, I should probably do some more. Um, some, some of my red flowers that pop up everywhere in my journal. Um, little tear outs of favorite bits of my magazines that I read and a couple of photos of my desk and my paint pan uh, this is when I was trying to work on my face work I was getting like uh, this one was a photo reference from Pinterest so I um, I tried to put a little bit of my style in but still keep the picture happening that's one of my favorites uh, this one was just a, um, a lot of acrylic ink in her hair and this is actually this face is cut out of um, just normal art card cardstock and I just taped her in glued her down and, and added the hair uh, this one was another Pinterest find and I wanted to I've never drawn like guys before I've never really tried so I, I drew this old man and it's a lot of um, black and grey Copic marker and some uh, white paint and a little bit of Prismacolor pencil and that's it. Same with this girl, uh, blue paint, some gesso and a little bit of brown paint. Nothing fabulous, just faces. Still working on my faces, I think I basically gave up here because I was sick of doing Oh, no, there's more on there. I lie. I lie. Trying to work out posing and stuff like that. I'm terrible at doing body shots and all that sort of stuff. And I was trying to do something that was a little bit different. A lot of acrylic ink flowers. Her wings are done with acrylic ink as well. Um, these two girls were ink spills. So they turned. I tried to do like a monochromatic sort of theme. Just using a bit of blue and white paint and some graphite pencil. And same with this, this is uh, purple acrylic ink, uh, white and graphite, and just a little bit of uh, photos and washi tape. Uh, just a little tag face and a quirky little uh, drawing that I copied out of the magazine, so I can't take any credit for her. She was just, I was just having fun playing with a different sort of face that I'd never done before. Uh, some of my background sheets I was playing with more washi tape. Washi tape is like the be all and all of this journal. Uh, playing with faces and um, colours and trying to use as least amount of colours as possible to create them. Uh, this is uh, Sumi ink and paint. A lot of pen and ink work. Still trying to get those bodies from Jane's claws. I kept going back to them because I want to draw bodies so badly and I'll probably retake the course all over again just to try and get it right. Uh, photographs and ink and stencils and randomness just 
general journaling. Uh, photographs of my post, uh, my old um, mailbox, post box. John, lots of tape, uh, whitewash with watercolours and gesso. This is a tip-in board of a girl that I was working on. Playing with faces and colour. Um, more, this is a print of a face um, and some packaging that was sent to me by a friend and a little material tag, some photographs, some pen and ink work down here, a little doodling in my flowers. Uh, more faces, this is on a um, another letter from a pen pal and then I painted the face over it. Um, in here is a, an OHT print of an old self-portrait I did back in high school. So I turned that into a little pocket and just added little um, tags and a little creature hiding in there. Quirky little girls. This is where my um, creatures started coming out. A little lamb and playing with colours and all that sort of stuff. A little tiger and a parrot girl playing with faces, rabbits, houses. Um, playing with different types of faces and aliens and little red riding hood and all that sort of stuff. Um, on here is, um, I did, I put an order in with Mindy and Mindy Lacefield and got some, um, a beautiful business card and a few prints and stuff. So I've, I've put them into my book little post-it note she sent with my stuff, some tip-ins on little index cards, um, playing with work from a Susie Blue class, more tip-ins on index cards, creating little creatures on index cards and tipping them in, uh, playing with the colours that Mindy uses in the book that I ordered, the little um, Paint Your Story came in a zine form, so I was just playing with all the paint colours that she uses. Um, some pencil work with some faces. I don't know why there's a giant piece of orange Halloween ribbon stuck in there, but it is. Some red flowers. Uh, a journal page from... Natasha May. That came in one of our swaps. A big index card that I tipped in and my peerless watercolours. More face work. Um, some scrapbooking paper, self-portrait. Um, working on my body homework for Jane. Tip that in. More body stuff. As you can see, I went back to the course from all the way back there because I was frustrated with myself for not being able to pull it off. When I can't do things perfectly, I get frustrated. So, um, Bright colours, a little a cutout that my mum did on her Cricut. Um, more playing with bodies and mouths and stuff like that. This was a life book lesson. Um, and just a print of a journal page that I sent away on a swap that I loved it so much I wanted to get a print of it. Um, playing with creatures and altering photos and adding letters and stuff like that. Some crazy duct tape. All that. Um, acrylic ink, flowers, pictures of my mom and my day and playing with my new stencil. This was a, a trading card that Christy sent me with my uh, stencil. Uh, Lesson ideas for you guys. A picture of one of my girlfriends. Uh, I think I ta taped in a uh, OHT that I printed out. Playing with putting things in borders and my creatures. A lot of distressing backgrounds, the flowers, pit pens, um, tape, stickers. Um, another one of the index cards with the flowers and pictures and stuff like that. 
uh, tabs and things, little tags, uh, pictures that uh, my girlfriend and I had done eight years ago when we used to send each other f uh, a photo a day every week in the mail. So I've got a lot of her original photos that I've started putting into my work. Uh, you guys remember the Art Geeks video with um, creating, getting photos into your background and stuff like that? Uh, this was a print I was working on trying to get the colours right and bright enough to sell. And obviously it hasn't worked yet. I'm still playing with the colour and the printers and stuff like that. This is the ugly page that everyone wanted me to keep that I really, really hated. More little creatures, um, leaves, acrylic ink, tape, photos, you know, the drill. Oh, it's sticking here. Um, photos from Bruce Love Susie and playing with rabbits, bright colour washes, scrapbooking paper, you name it, it went on there. Um, my little deer girl, which is so close to my heart. It's one of my favourites I've ever drawn. That's why I ba basically didn't touch her. A print from Mindy. Photograph of John holding um, a stack of my journals. Just a basic Copic border with some pen and ink. Getting to the end now, guys. Uh, just playing with creature creations and pictures and creating little houses and hills out of scrapbooking paper. Oh, what's that? Randomness. Um, this is acrylic in care and using the neon markers. <clears throat> Painting. This is a Christie uh, background sheet taped down. Uh, playing with my jelly plate and adding uh, features to a print, basically. Playing with more creatures trying to work out how I'm going to teach you guys these things. Um, more little creatures. This is as I got to the end and I was getting absolutely sick of the journal and I just wanted it to go away. Uh, altering photos and turning yourself into a whimsy character. I'm considering turning this into a class for you guys. I've got a few ideas on um, that. So if you are interested in that, please start taking self-portraits. I will do a uh, a, uh, a little quick video on the best way to take the self portraits for this sort of idea so stay tuned for that turning all my uh, jelly prints and, and old photos that have been not old photos, photos that I've liked of us and our family and printed them out adding characters and all that sort of stuff and that is the end. So this stuff here, all these pages are going to be glued down into a stack. I've already started, but it was starting to hurt my hands. Then I'm going to um, cut out a big uh, section and make like a little nook and put like a little nook dweller inside that section. That was Christy's idea on how to finish this thing up was to have an actual nook and a nook dweller inside it. So that's going to be what... I do. I just have a few more pages to glue together and I can start carving out that nook. So there you have it guys. That is the Journal of Crazy. I can't, I should have dated this when I started this, but I have no idea. But this book was from 1975 to Carol on her 21st birthday. So I hope I've given it a, another life. Please, if there is anything you saw in here that caught your eye that you'd like to uh, me to show you guys or teach you, anything at all, please leave a comment below. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon. Oh, almost knocked you over. Okay, have a great day, guys.